How you doing, BK from ManfulWars.com here on Tuesday, April 7th, 2020, downtown Toronto, Canada, near college and university. Promoting polite patriotism, help nice ladies and gents offline, teach kids to look, talk, and feel great, and to help out people worldwide, locally discuss and share great online info they find offline as better people making better places to live, giving people options to help them think for themselves, if it's stupid, laugh, smart, enjoy, maybe pass it on, and uh, then getting better politicians the results, as we don't just accept whatever the government says. We uh, have uh, more informed and empowered people who demand more and put in better politicians and uh, get more out of their governments and their countries and, and their great resources and, and great uh, political systems that, that just need some corruption kind of cleaned out typically. Um, so here, um, I'm uh, just north of, um, excuse me, uh, Toronto's healthcare district. And I'm going to take a look. Uh, i got some other videos. People around the world are making videos. It's very, very quiet. Been very, 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 very quiet. Sometimes there's some media lies. Sometimes they use old footage. Sometimes they, you know, use footage. That if you look closer, they're just doing tests on dummies. They've got uh, giant boats off the coast of New York prepared for tens of thousands of corona patients. They've got like 20. Uh, there's a doctor in New York saying they're using the ventilators wrong. They're pumping too much pressure into the lungs, and that's destroying the lungs. You don't need to do that. And so there's a lot of corruption. There's some great people in the healthcare field that do great stuff, break your leg in 50 places. Guy spends three hours, you know, they're putting it all together like a jigsaw puzzle. Fantastic. But there's also some corruption in there where certain people in charge uh, can, uh, you know, can get away with stuff. Plus, before any major health decision, um, you know, everybody should, should ask for a second opinion. Right? So when it comes to Trump in the U.S., Fauci and Burks, eh, you know, you should get a second opinion before any major health decision. What? But it's a doctor. Aren't you supposed to listen to a doctor? It's like, well, yeah, but, but you can also get a second opinion if it's a major decision. And in Canada with Dr. Tam or with Patty Hadju and whatever. Right? So, um, you know, Trudeau can do that. And so uh, people people need to do that because otherwise it's just maybe corrupt, prof cor corrupt doctors. You know, say Dr. Evil says, oh, a flu. I know what you can do. You can wash your hands, stay away from people, and stay home all the time. Like, okay, Dr. Evil, that's what you can do for a flu? You know, there's been flus around for thousands of years. You can do more than that for a flu, right? You can do more vitamin C, vitamin D, this, no, 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 none of that, right? So, um, so it's good to have a second opinion. Now, here we are at college and university. And we've also got the zombiosis, the poor mentally ill people that act sketchy. Make everyone near them uncomfortable so you don't want to pay attention anymore. Then you run shaking near strangers. But you don't bother them back. You don't bother other people. They don't care about the flu, pandemic. They don't care about social distancing. They'll run too close to you just to force you to see them look ugly. Nobody wants to pay attention anymore because they're always acting sketchy. You can't, be, you can't mind your business. You can't be busy. You can't be happy. You can't look at or talk to anyone. Uh, you know, you, you can't, you, you, you know they, they act sketchy. As soon as they see any human behavior, they get worked up and try and force you to put up with them. And then nobody can act like a human near them anymore. And then they go attack strangers, try to make them into zombies too. They look for nice people to bother. They see someone busy over there. They run too close to you, bother you. They get worked up, force you to see them hit themselves in the head or touch their head or face or wipe their nose or shove something in their mouth. Something yucky, something ugly, stressful and confusing. They know you're not going to like. And um, yeah, or even other homeless people will tell you, forget it, man, just don't, don't get involved. Right? We're over here playing with the dog, the flight day, homeless people, the poor sketchy one that makes us uncomfortable all the time. We don't want to pay attention to anymore. They're running around shaking near strangers, right? And I don't want anybody to feel bad. They like being ignored and want to stop. You know, instead of embarrassed or bothered, everyone else around relax and feel better and uh, mind their business or know it's safe to be nice to each other and get along. So it's no big deal. You know, everyone can be happy. But you don't bother back. You don't bother other people. You don't get involved. They don't apologize or explain. It's like bird poop. You know, bird poo on the ground is yucky and gross. It's making everyone uncomfortable. They didn't apologize. Well, sorry, I just fell out of a bird's ass recently, and I'm kind of gross and yucky. I don't mean to be, but uh, listen, have a nice day. It's okay, bird poo, no problem. But it doesn't do that. It's just yucky stuff on the ground making people uncomfortable. So you just politely ignore it, right? So, and there's the Ontario Parliament buildings over there. And, uh, and me personally, just like everybody else, right, even the worst terrorists and murderers and child rapists and so on, Unless you're going to kill them, then you typically lock them up in solitary confinement and they get one hour a day to go out, get some sun, get some exercise, keep their cardiovascular in shape. They're not a bigger drain on the prisonplanet.com healthcare system. Because otherwise, you got to worry about them more. So even if they're locked in solitary for 23 hours a day, they typically get one hour a day to go out, get some sun, get some exercise. Otherwise, you're, you're going to cost them even more money by getting sick, just not doing anything, sitting in solitary confinement, right? So. Typically get an hour out of day, even the scum of the scum, the worst of the worst, unless you kill them in capital punishment, they typically get an hour a day outside. So, let's take a look 
what's going on here. It's a lunchtime Toronto Healthcare District, this south of college and university. And, oh no, no relation, it's a poor mentally ill person. They make everyone near them uncomfortable acting sketchy so you don't want to pay attention to them anymore. And then they run around trying to force strangers to look at it. Oh no, it's okay, you don't bother them back, you don't bother other people. They, you can't do anything near them, you can't mind your business, you can't be happy, you can't be busy, you can't be nice, you can't look at or talk to anyone. They'll start acting sketchy, so you can't, so then they, you don't want to pay attention to them anymore, then they go run around shaking near strangers. And all the polite Canadians I know since I was a kid, you don't bother them back, you don't bother other people. You just uh, politely look at your newspaper, look away, and uh, everyone politely ignores them and they, you know, finish shaking and run away. Or maybe they calm down and sit somewhere and, uh, you know, they're nice. And then all the other 50 polite Canadians in the subway relax, mind their business or look at, talk to each other. But the sketchy one, no one wants to pay attention. That's why it forces strangers to see it look ugly. That's why all it cares about is forcing strangers to see it look ugly. It knows you're not going to like it. It's not like it's being nice. It's not like it's doing you a favor. It knows you're not going to like it, but what else can it do? Right? Nobody it knows wants to pay attention to it anymore. Right? And they can help people stop, you know. Regular straight guys, nothing to look at, no one to look. Force each other to, and they'll still want to look and making everyone else do it. Making everyone uncomfortable, making everyone the same zombie. Nothing to look at, no one to look, you're not going to like it. Fuck it, put up with it anyway. So it's hard to be nice or look at or talk to anyone or, or just be mind your business. And so, and that becomes your whole social life. The whole zombie social life is bothering people, everyone near you, till you can't do anything. And then running around shaking near strangers trying to bother them. And zombie social life uh, now during the quarantine is very, very limited. Because if you're used to running too close to uh, hundreds of people a day, you're bumping into them before you see them look ugly and run away. Now you're down to a few dozen. So now zombies super desperate. Zombies like, ah, used to bothering hundreds of people a day, trying to make them zombies. Now I'm down to fucking like 20, 30, 50. This sucks. Right? So besides Toronto Healthcare District being fairly quiet, dead quiet I'd say, um, we also have to stop uh, uh, mass zombiosis to talk offline. Otherwise, people can talk on the internet, but on the off the internet, you try. You see what the zombie does. The zombie doesn't want anybody acting like a human anymore. The zombie will just attack. They'll freak out on you. Start spazzing out and get excited to make you a quiet zombie. It bothers people too. Well, you try. You use English, French, whatever you want here. See what happens. Hey, put up with me. Yeah, yeah, no more of that. So. Well, they can't. They can say stay home for a month, stay home for six months, stay home for 18 months. And you're like, hey, can I get a second opinion, doctor? Can I say anything else? It's like, no, zombie won't let you. Zombie won't let you. Zombie attack. Zombie won't let anyone do anything except be zombie. They just work up, act sketchy, bother you, and that's about it. So, let's double check the time 12:28 p.m. Tuesday, April 7, 2020. So, Oh, no, the poor mentally ill person. No one wants to pay attention to them. They act too sketchy. So everyone they know at the shelter or whatever doesn't want to pay attention, then they run around trying to force strangers to barely look at it. Oh, it happens. You know, even other homeless people will say, bro, 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 give it up, give it up, give it up. Don't get involved. Don't, don't, let's feel guilty and embarrassed and lie and argue and keep bothering you. No one wants to pay attention to them, so now somebody finally does and they just keep bothering you more. So, well, it happens. I don't want them to feel bad. You politely ignore them, so they're not bothered or embarrassed. Everyone around relax and feel better, and uh, mind your business or know it's safe to get along. Everybody feel, everybody feel better. There's no point getting upset. So, oh, no, poor mentally ill, sketchy person. They make everyone near them uncomfortable. You don't want to pay attention anymore, acting sketchy. Then they run around shaking near strangers, trying to force them to put up with it. It's no relation. Or if it's somebody else's wife, that's like a bitchy, sketchy mess. Let them deal with it. Let them fucking be impotent while they're a mess, or go for a walk, go for a drive. Come back later in an hour when they calm down. You're not just infinite while they're a mess. You can talk about why, you know, what their problem is, what's going on. So, but not mine, not mine, not mine. I don't want to be embarrassed. No offense, you have self-respect. Don't be a mess for yourself, family, friends. You know, the poor uh, sketchy person can't help it. No one wants to pay attention to them anymore. So, that's, that's their whole social life. It's not illegal. You can do it in Canada unless you're too aggressive. You can do, do it for your whole life. Just run around shaking your millions of people for your whole life. You don't like it, and uh, you can't do anything else. So it's just a bad idea if you can avoid it. So well, it's not personal. If you try and be, if you try and mind your business, it bothers you. 
acts sketchy and bothers you. If you try and feel happy, it bothers you. If you try and be nice, it bothers you. If you try and look at someone, it bothers you. If you try and talk to someone, it bothers you. So eventually, you don't want to do anything with it, and then it runs around shaking near strangers. So you can't really do anything with it. It's not personal. You can't do anything else. That's just how life turned out. Oh, you try and use English near it. See how that goes. I'll give you 30 seconds before it starts touching its head and face and wiping and scratching and acting sketchy and you're like, ah, never mind. Forget it. Or French or whatever. You know, traditional languages or any others, I guess. For human, any human behavior. You try and mind your business, it'll bother you. You try and be happy. You try and look at someone. You smile, it'll bother you. This is what it does. So I make it other people stop, which is cool. You know, otherwise I can't bother people myself. And I'd lose self-respect, take other people. So let's make sure I get it all done. Oh, nothing's happening. No one's doing anything. So fuck off and let me finish. And that's all finished. And you can stop in Safe Canada or zombies won't let you do anything except be zombies. They'll attack anybody who's not bothering people. And they'll try and make you a zombie who attacks anyone who's not bothering people. And then there'll be only zombies left because you can't do anything else. <clears throat> And if it's somebody else's bitchy, sketchy wife, you let them handle that. You let them be impotent while they're a mess, or you let them, you know, fuck off for an hour and come back, and maybe they'll calm down. You can talk about why they're all worked up. Uh, bros get to tripping like that, check these bros later. Hoes get tripping like that, check these hoes later. Fuck that. Not just impotent while they're a mess. Yeah, very, very, very quiet. Very, very, very quiet. Empty parking lots, very, very, very quiet. It's very, very, very dead. Oh no, zombie, it's a poor mentally ill person. It makes everyone near it uncomfortable acting sketchy to you don't want to pay attention anymore. Then it runs around doing it near strangers. You can't do anything with it. It'll force you to see it look ugly. It's not, not like it's nice, it's not like it's doing you a favor. It knows you're not going to like it, it doesn't care. And that's its whole social life. Even other homeless people will be like, bro, 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 just give it up, man, give it up. You know, don't, don't pay attention. Just don't get involved. You don't feel guilty and embarrassed and lying hard. You know how it is with mentally ill people shaking near strangers. Can't explain why. You know, so it's okay. I'd be able to book smart a little street smart. You need to have well, That's his whole life. Just running near people, forcing you to see it look ugly and running away. Knows you're not going to like it. Doesn't care. Nobody it knows wants to pay attention to it. It acts too sketchy. So then it runs around shaking near strangers. Oh no, it's everybody since I was a kid, all the polite days probably looked away, looked at your newspaper, finished running around the subway, ran away, didn't bother it back, didn't bother anybody else. And then everybody happy, I don't want to feel bad. You just quietly ignore it, don't bother it, don't... It's not bothered, not embarrassed. It's not acting sketchy, if anybody try to do anything else to bother you, you can't do anything with it, so... Yeah, seems empty. Oh no, no one wants to pay attention anymore. It just wants to force you to see it look ugly. It just wants to get worked up and start spazzing out, force you to see it look ugly. So nobody wants to pay attention anymore. That's why it runs around shaking near strangers. Oh, you can't do anything near it. You can't do anything. It won't let you do anything. It'll just keep bothering you. So you just give up and then it runs around shaking near strangers. So oh, there's no relation. If it's somebody else's bitchy, sketchy wife, let them handle that. Let them be impotent or say what's wrong or if they won't let you say or do anything, go for a walk, come back in an hour. Maybe they'll calm down, you can help them out. But uh, otherwise, eh, no, it's okay. Uh, oh no, poor mentally ill person. Oh, it makes everyone near it uncomfortable. It's like bird poop. It doesn't apologize. Well, sorry, I fell out of a bird's ass. I'm yucky stuff in the ground. Listen, my bad, have a good day. It doesn't do that. It's just yucky stuff in the ground that bothers people. Just politely ignore it and feel better. Don't get upset. I mean, apologize, explain, it's no problem. They didn't do that. It's like bird poop. Okay. It just wants to force you to put up with it. Knows you're not going to like it. Don't want to do anything else with it. So, that's its social life. But I don't want to feel bad. You quietly ignore it. Don't bother, not bother, not embarrassed. Everyone else can relax and get along or mind their business. It's fine. This is life in the city. Well, it'll finish. It just wants to sneak around, force you to put up with something you're not going to like. You don't like it. And that's why it goes and bothers strangers. Oh, the other homeless people are playing with the dog. They're getting along fine. 
This one's sketchy, makes the rest uncomfortable, runs around shaking near strangers. You know? Well, it's Toronto. It's not my first time here. All the polite Canadians politely ignore it. Look at your newspaper, look away. You don't bother them back, bother somebody else. Oh, no, the poor mentally ill person. Hey, they don't want to pay attention to it anymore. It's too sketchy. It's always making you uncomfortable, passing out. So you don't want to do anything with it anymore. And then it goes and does it near strangers. So, you know, it's okay. Oh, well, no relation. If somebody else is bitchy, sketchy, old lady, freaking out. Let them say what's wrong or be impotent while they're a mess or go for a walk, come back when they calm down. You can deal with what's going on, what they're on about. But I'm not mine. Yeah, that's gross. <laughs> Be embarrassed like that. I don't finish. Since I was a kid, it just finishes shaking and running away. If all the polite kids politely ignore it, hopefully it can stop. And then it can help people stop, which is good. Otherwise, that's a social life. It just acts sketchy with everyone it knows. So you don't want to pay attention to it anymore. And then it goes and does it near strangers who don't like it either. That's about it. Oh, this is the Toronto's finest cars over there. But still, very, very, very quiet. All right, so that's fairly crowded. I think that's also connected to some of those offices and buildings over there. So, uh, oh, no, no, it's okay. This was unfortunate to see something you're not going to like and then feel sorry for itself. Nobody cares because it bothers people. Nobody cares about the poor mentally ill, sketchy person shaking near strangers because it bothers people. You know, not like a normal mentally ill person. It's just off. Those people deserve a little respect, a little dignity. You can, you can still, you know, say hi. You can show and get respect. But the, the worst kind, they, you know, the force try to force you to put up with them. Hey, nothing, just garbage. No big deal. No, big. Well, it's okay, it's mentally ill. It makes everyone near it uncomfortable. Then it goes and does it to strangers. So, eh, fine, a lot of people are nice. You know, quietly know it, let other people know how you're doing. That you want to respect each other. You're a nice construction worker guy. Just busy man, busy man, didn't bother each other. Fucking respect, keep going, feel better. Empty, empty and quiet. Empty and quiet. As we just said, we ordered 30,000 more ventilators. I told you about a doctor in New York said the ventilators are the way they're using them are actually killing people because they're using too much pressure, treating the wrong thing. And uh, and uh, you know, I had a couple of videos on it. There's a lot of bullshit going on. There's some big government status, globalists. You know, you know. So it's all right. If, if white Canadians can talk offline, fine. Zombies don't want any humans left. Zombies will bother you if you're busy. They'll bother you if you're happy. They'll bother you if you're nice. They'll bother you if you look at someone. They'll bother you if you talk. They'll bother you just, they, they just want to make zombies. They just want to force you to put up with them. So that's the difference. Oh, no relation. It's a poor mentally ill person making everyone near it uncomfortable than running around shaking near strangers. No one wants to pay attention anymore. It's that sketchy, makes you uncomfortable. So that's, uh, that's what happened. Oh, don't, I don't want anybody to feel good. You politely ignore them. They're not bothered. They're not embarrassed. Everyone around, relax, feel better. You have a little self-respect. Don't be a mess. You can be nice. Remind your business. It's fine. You know, not a, not a weirdo, not a farter. Even though I was a kid, people do that. You just look at your newspaper. You look away when you're on the subway. They finish running around, shaking and running away. Nobody cares. Oh, no, the poor mentally ill person's social life is that. Their social life is making everyone near them uncomfortable, acting sketchy. That you don't want to pay attention to anymore and they have to keep trying to force you to put up with them and then uh they you don't want to do anything you can't say anything do anything with them you don't feel like it then they go do it near strangers so well it's your whole social life and it's really tough now because there's not there's only a few dozen people out so they can't run too close to hundreds of people a day try to bother them now it's down to a few dozen hey you're not going to like this wherever you are put up with this yeah yeah you're not going to like this wherever you are. put up with this yeah yeah you're not gonna like, oh force you to see this so they, they their, their social life is kind of cramped where well, they can't, uh, you know, they're in quarantine, they just act sketchy, they bother you, you don't want to do anything, pay attention to them anymore. And then it, they can't wait to run around shaking near strangers. Well, even other homeless people will warn you, don't get involved. If, if you're nice to each other, you respect each other, they'll warn you, don't get involved, man. Have that sketchy one? No, don't get involved. <laughs> the rest of us are hanging out, playing with the dog, we're getting along. The sketchy one makes us uncomfortable, they don't want to pay attention to it, they're running around shaking near strangers. So, 
<laughs> if you respect each other, they'll tell you. It's not rocket science. Well, it doesn't care. You try and do anything near it. See what it does. You try and talk. See it bother you. You try and mind your business. See it bother you. You try and look at someone. See it bother you. Well, no, it's okay. It's like bird poop. You know, it doesn't explain, doesn't apologize. You know, if it explained, if it apologized, it'd be different. Bird poop fell out of some bird's ass. Oh, sorry, I fell out of bird's ass. Some just yucky stuff in the ground. Can be a little uncomfortable near me, but uh, no offense. Hope you have a good day. Fine, but it doesn't do that. It just keeps acting yucky, making you put up with it. So, oh no, it's okay. You like getting mad at bird poop. What else bird poop do? It bother you? You don't like it? It bothers someone else. It knows you're not gonna like it. it really care? Oh no, it's a poor mentally ill, sketchy person. They make everyone near them uncomfortable, acting sketchy. You don't want to pay attention anymore. Then they run around shaking near strangers. So all the polite Canadians I know, since I was a kid, you politely ignored it. You don't bother them back. You don't bother anybody else. You just politely ignore it. Everyone happy. You're not, you're not, not bothered, not embarrassed. Everyone relax, feel better, or mind your business, or get along. It's fine. What are you supposed to do? You know, it's okay. It's like being yucky back and forth with bird poop. Doesn't explain. Doesn't make any sense. Doesn't apologize. You know, it bothers people. You just avoid it. You feel better. There's nobody around at all messed up. No offense. I want everybody happy. I don't want anybody unhappy. The poor, sketchy, mentally ill person shaking near strangers. Politely ignore them. Don't bother them. Not bothered. Not embarrassed. They'll finish. Well, nobody wants to pay attention to it anymore. They act too sketchy. So they run near strangers and do it. So. And make it help people stop, which is good. Oh, I don't bother people. They're embarrassed, lie, argue. Their whole social life is acting sketchy, making people uncomfortable until you don't like them, and then doing it near strangers. So you're like, well, what else can I do? I just, I just bother people. They don't like it. And then uh, they don't want to do anything with me. And then I go bother strangers. They don't like it. And they don't want to do anything with me. And that's, that's their whole social life. So they don't care about the quarantine. They don't care about social distancing. They'll run too close to you to force you to see them look ugly, stressful, confusing. And uh, then they'll run away. That's their life. Unlike normal polite Canadians, respect each other. Not, hey, put up with this. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. That's different. So, why well, don't care? Don't care. Nobody cares. You politely ignore it. It's just price you pay life in the city, right? Occasionally, you see one every few months. Poor mentally ill person shaking near strangers, acting sketchy. That could be one a second during the quarantine. Obviously less, but you know. But make it help people stop, which is good. Make sure of that everyone's fine. Well, I don't bother him. I can't say, hey, man, why are you acting like someone's pretend bitchy, sketchy girlfriend? Starts crying. Shut up. This is my whole social life now. I make everyone near me uncomfortable acting sketchy. I don't want to pay attention to me anymore. I don't respect anyone. No one respects me. No one wants to listen to me, talk to me. You can't even look at me. And then I go do it near strangers. This is my whole life. So don't shut up, you mean man. I'm like, ah, never mind. Fine, whatever. Otherwise, guys can help each other stop and help girls and kids stop. I can't do it. And be like, hey man, what do you think of this poor sketchy person? No, shut up. Or, or they go, oh, well, no, no, I don't want to talk about a poor sketchy person shaking near strangers. Just fucking shut up and mind your business. <laughs> you know, just probably ignore it, look away. But they start getting worked up and spazzing out and force you to put up with them. It's like, yeah, never mind. But it's not personal. Nobody wants to pay attention to them anymore. You know, acting ugly, stressful, and confusing. So. Oh, they'll finish. They, they might be ignored and want to stop. Kind of bothered or embarrassed. Since I was young, they, everyone just politely looked away. All polite Canadians looked away on the subway. They finished running around shaking and ran away. You know, or maybe they, they peer pressure, they calmed down, they sat somewhere nicely. Well, if he didn't bother them. He didn't bother them back. He just started bothering other people. Make everyone's life fucking miserable. So, they can't help it. They can't explain. They can't do anything else. Their whole social life is making everyone near them uncomfortable. And then when they don't want to do anything with them anymore, going and doing it near strangers. No, it's okay. Oh, very, very, very quiet. Oh, I'm not wrong or crazy. They don't run away from me. They run towards me and do it. Like, yeah, I don't make any sense. You're the only one making sense of what I do all the time. This is my new life now. Acting rude and sketchy, making everyone uncomfortable. They act rude and sketchy with me. And we don't want to pay attention to each other anymore. It's too yucky. So we go do it near strangers. So they don't make any sense. So I'm like, I wouldn't mind if people were like, you're wrong, you're crazy. Honey, look, get over here. You know, it's like, I'm not. <laughs> so that's the problem. So. What happens? So, uh, oh, it's cool. The guy is cold. The guy walking by. Who cares? What happens?
Yeah, but there's the people out there that still can. Otherwise, polite Canadians can't do anything offline except act like zombies. You go on the internet. If you go on the internet, you can maybe talk on the internet. If you try and talk in real world, zombies will talk. Zombies don't want. Zombies will start spazzing out and bother you. They don't want any humans left. They just want zombies. But once they make you zombies, they can't do anything with you. You can't be nice and look at and talk to each other. You just have to go bother strangers and make more zombies. So it's, uh, it's tough. Once a zombie makes you a zombie, you're like, I can't look at this shit. It's fucking gross. All right, I'll do it to you. And then, then they can't look at each other. And then they go four strangers to look at it. Well, you can't just look at it. You can't sit there five minutes. Hey, wipe scratch. You're not going to like it. Put up with it. Yeah, yeah, put up with it. That's why it's social life. Even other homeless people will warn you. Don't get involved. You feel guilty and embarrassed and lie and argue and keep trying to bother you. No one wants to pay attention. Someone finally does. Ah, put up with me. Ah. You know, so, you know, homeless people will tell you don't get involved. You know? Just politely ignore him, like everybody else. It doesn't care about the social distancing. It's a zombie. It runs too close to people who don't like it and force you to see it look ugly and runs away. It doesn't care. It's not, not, it, 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 it's not human. It's not, you know, it's, hey, let's social distance. Let's be cool. Let's get over this soon. It'll run too close to hundreds of people a day for trying to force you to see it look ugly and run away. That's its life. Right? Well, no, it's okay. You like bird poop. It doesn't explain why it's yucky stuff in the ground bothering people. It doesn't apologize. It just, if it apologized, explain. I'd be fine with it. I'm okay with bird poop. If bird poop apologized, bird poop's like, oh, I'm so sorry about that. It's out of the bird's ass. You know what I mean? How you doing? So, busy doctor taking a break. And so, um, you know, we respect each other. So, I'm not, not trying to force you to put up with me. I'm not trying to force you to put up with me. Um, but, oh no, see, the zombie doesn't care. The poor mentally ill person, it makes everyone near it uncomfortable. And then it runs around forcing strangers to look at it. That's its life. Even other homeless people will warn you about this creature. Other homeless people will be like, you can't do anything near this creature. It just wants to bother you until you don't want to pay attention to it anymore. And you, it's just too gross to pay attention to. And then you have to bother it back because you can't do anything else with it. And then it runs around shaking near strangers. Other homeless people are playing with the dog. This one is running around shaking near strangers trying to force them to put up with it. See it look ugly. That's the difference. So I'm not going to help people stop and say polite days, talk offline, save Canada. Well, it's good luck. Go on the internet if you want. You can type on the internet to strangers in another part of the world. And you try and say, hey, you can't just try and save 100,000 of the flu, kill 10 million of the depression. Zombies will attack. Nobody talk anymore. Put up with me. You're exactly the kind of human I want to turn into a zombie who bothers people too. Aha. Yeah, that's the zombie. Right? Oh, it doesn't care. It likes being ignored. Instead of bothered or embarrassed, it wants to stop. So you politely ignore it. You know, that's the best thing. You know, I don't think, otherwise you can't do anything anyway. There's the emergency center. All right, seems like pretty chilled out, you know. There's people all over the world showing, wait a minute, this is bullshit, you know. They're going to corrupt everybody, corrupt the healthcare service, corrupt the cops. Lots of good people work there, some evil people work there as well. And they do enough good, they can get away with evil, you know. It's like sometimes the media. It makes them write some good stories and they'll sell you some bullshit. You're like, wow, that was really good, so maybe I should buy the bullshit. Right, the same thing. But zombies just want to attack. See, the zombie, what, the zombie sees any human behavior and attacks. I dare you to be busy near that zombie. It'll bother you. Force you to put up with the sketchy stuff. Pretend lying, bitchy, sketchy, ugly girlfriend. Don't say anything. Bah. It'll bother you. Try and be busy. Try and be happy. Try and look at someone. Put up with this. Try and talk. You know how his eyes feel. No, no, shut up. That's what it does, right? So, but you don't bother it back. You don't bother other people. When its whole life is making everyone near it uncomfortable until you don't want to pay attention to it anymore. And then running around shaking near strangers who don't like it either. That's its whole life. That's its social life. You can't be near it and respect each other and do anything. So that's its social life. So everyone at the shelter politely ignores them. And then they, uh, and then they, uh, they wander around doing it near strangers. So you can talk to homeless people when you respect each other. And they'll tell you themselves, bro, 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 give it up, man. Nobody wants to pay attention to that dude anymore. They just act sketchy, make your people uncomfortable all the time. So we hang out and play with the dog. That one runs around shaking near strangers. Right? Well, it's not personal. It's like bird poop. It doesn't apologize for being yucky stuff in the ground. It is yucky stuff in the ground. It bothers you. You don't like it. It bothers somebody else.